Shalom, my friends. Let me share some verses with you from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. everyone and welcome to our first trial version of internet church due of course to COVID-19. No matter what happens in the world we will always worship God which is what we are doing here now with internet church. Will you please pray with me? Oh holy God as we try and find a new way to worship, as we try and find new ways to remain a connected community, we ask that your Spirit is with us through this difficult period. Amen. In the psalm that Dave read, the psalmist relies a lot on God. The psalmist displays huge trust in God and God's watchful eye over us. The psalmist says that God is our refuge, our strength, that God is in the city, and that God will be there in the morning when the sun rises and a new day greets our weary bodies. I have a question for you. It's a pretty blunt question. So here goes. How many of you believe this? I'm going to let that question sit with you for a while. How many of you believe that God is our refuge and our strength? How many of you believe that God will be there in the morning when the sun rises on a new day? It's a difficult question, I know. As we all sit at home this morning, and many of us have been sitting at home all week, as we all practice social distancing, how many of you fully place your trust in God? Faith and trust in God is unfortunately not automatic. Faith and trust in God is not some easy thing that just floats down to us from heaven. Or it is not some casual emotion that rises up from our heart. No. Faith and trust are hard. Faith and trust are not easy to find. They do not come without a lot of effort. God is definitely there with us in this time of anxiety and fear. God is definitely there with us as this pandemic washes over us. But it is not easy to rely on faith and trust in God. That is why we have something like Psalm 46, the scripture passage for today. There is no reason for the psalmist to write that psalm and remind his own people that God is there for them unless they too were filled with fear and anxiety about the fate of their family, 
the fate of their friends, the fate of their city, and even the fate of themselves. Listen once again to what the psalmist reminded his people about. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake, though the waters roar, despite all this, the psalmist says, God is in the midst of our city. I believe that today in 2020, just like the psalmist experienced millennia ago, God is in the midst of our city even as COVID-19 washes over our city, our state, our nation, the world. In closing, I want you to take a, a look at verse 4. Again, this is Psalm 46, verse 4. I want you to take a look at this verse. I'm going to read a part of it. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. I will read that one more time. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. I believe that river, the river that makes our city and our church and our families secure and safe, I believe that river is the river of faith and trust. I believe that river is the river of faith and trust in God. God is indeed our refuge and our strength. Would you please pray with me as we conclude uh, this portion of our internet worship service Please pray wherever you are right now, this morning, this Sunday morning, at your home. Please pray. God, we do indeed find a way to trust you. It's not easy to place our full faith, our full trust in you. But we know that you are indeed in our city. You are in our families. You are in our very households as we go through this pandemic. It is not easy to go through the pandemic, and it is not easy sometimes to find the faith and trust in you that gives us comfort. We ask, however, that you show us that you, that you are with us, that you lend us your spirit through these difficult times. Amen. Thank you.